okay. So, in the uh, just we have seen that delta is equal to 0 0.39 to p upon 273 plus t this is equation 43. Now, we will come to the your corona power loss right. So, whatever uh, your visual critical voltage, disruptive critical voltage all we have seen, now we will come to the corona power loss right. So, basically the power dissipated in the transmission line due to your corona discharge is called corona loss right. So, estimation of accurate corona loss is very difficult right, it is almost impossible right, because of its extremely variable in nature right, it de depends on uh, your so many factors associated with it. So, all these things have been explained. So, what happened? So, basically if you see in under fair weather condition right, so corona will be very small, but under foul weather condition corona will be very high as high as 10 times then the corona loss of the your fair weather condition. So, that is why uh, there is no you know you cannot give any formula for exact formula for corona loss, but some uh, some empirical formula is available. I mean through the experimental uh, test people have found uh, some, some uh, approximate formula. For example, F W Peak actually he gave this corona loss under fair weather condition and is given this formula is it is under fair weather condition right. It is something like 244 upon delta into A plus 25 into V n minus V 0 whole square into root over R by D into 10 to the power minus 5 kilowatt per kilometer per phase right. So, that means this corona loss it is under fair weather conditions that means corona loss if you look into that it is inversely proportional to the delta that is air density factor directly proportional to the frequency directly proportional to this V n minus V 0 square and also directly proportional to your root over R by D right. So, in this example for this formula P is the corona loss P c actually is the corona here I have written P c. So, here it is P c, P c is the corona loss F is your supply frequency delta is your air density factor and V n is RMS, RMS phase voltage the line to neutral voltage in K V and V 0 is RMS value of disruptive critical voltage per phase in K V this is V 0, R is the radius of the your conductor and D is the spacing or equivalent spacing between conductors. If it is a single phase then it will be D, if it is three phase then you have to find out D E Q that is uh, your you know that the D A B, D B C, D C A to the power one third right into 10 to the power minus 5 kilowatt per kilometer per phase. So, this is actually uh, uh, your what you call that corona loss formula under fair weather condition. So, <coughs> therefore, it is to be noted that for a single phase line V n should be half into line voltage and for a three phase line this we have given earlier also it is 1 upon root 3 into line voltage. Now, peaks formula for corona loss is valid when corona losses are predominant and the ratio V n by V 0 greater than 1.8. If this ratio is greater than 1.8, then peaks formula of corona loss is quite valid right. But when V n less than V n by V 0 less than 1.8 this ratio, the following formula known as Peterson's formula gives better result. So, there is another formula for corona loss that is called Peterson's formula if V n by V 0 your less than 1.8. So, in this case that corona loss P c is equal to 2.1 into f in bracket V n upon log base 10 d upon r bracket close this is whole square into 10 to the power minus 5 into capital F this is capital F kilowatt per phase per kilometer what is capital F I will be coming. So, P c is the corona loss f is your supply frequency your V n is the your RMS voltage line to neutral in K V r is equal to radius of the conductor and d spacing or equivalent spacing, spacing between conductors and f this f is the factor actually f is called the corona loss function right. I mean you have for different ratio V n by V 0 you can find out what is f. It varies with the ratio V n by V 0 and is given below in tabular form I will show you. So, f actually is a variable right it depends on the V n by V 0 ratio that although in this function although in this function V 0 is not coming in this in this equation V 0 is not coming, but f is a function of V n by V 0 that means this P c actually is a function of V 0 also 
right. So, in this case that your V n by V 0 this side and this is your f. So, when it is 0 0.6 it is 0 0.012, 0 0.8 0 0.018, when it is 1 it is 0 0.018, when it is 1.2 it is 0 0.08, when 1.4 it is 0 0.3 increasing uh, I mean in a very uh, rapid manner when a V n by V 0 is uh, increasing then 1.6 when it is 1, when it is 1.8 it is 3.5 and when it is 2 it is 6 almost 3 times and it is 2.2 it is 8.0. That means, when V n by V 0 ratio is increasing this f is also increasing in a very, very faster rate right. So, this I mean uh, if you solve the numerical and if, if Peterson's formula is given then this table will be supplied such that you can have the data from this table. Next one is that is your factors affecting the corona. So, first one is the effect of system voltage in a transmission line right for example, you take any any two phase conductor right and if you see the voltage applied across them is more then naturally that potential uh, your this thing electric field intensity also will be more right. That means, any two conductor you take if potential difference is high then electric field intensity is also very high right. Therefore, uh, and hence the coronal loss also will be very high as seen from equation 44 and 45 right when V n is large as compared to I mean 44, 45 just I showed you. This is 45 this Peterson's formula is 45 and your uh, Weeks formula is 44 this this one this one is 44 that is your F W Weeks formula for coronal loss right. So, when V n is large as compared to V 0 coronal loss increases right at a very faster rate with increase in voltage because those are directly related to your V n and your V 0 both right. So, this is the effect of system voltage. Next is effect of frequency. Now, again in equation 44 and 45 we have seen the coronal loss actually is directly proportional to the frequency right. That means, this here also a plus 25 that is b a plus 25 is a constant. So, it is directly proportional to this and similarly your uh, this uh, uh, Peterson's formula here also directly proportional to f. So, that is it uh, I mean it depends on the frequency right. So, as seen from that it has directly proportional to the frequency, but in a power network 50 hertz or 60 hertz there is not much change uh, from the nominal value. If nominal is 50 hertz there may be slight increase or slight uh, decrease depending on the power system condition right. Next is effect of density of air again from equation 44 right it is evident that because we have seen the air density factor that coronal loss is inversely proportional to delta. Therefore, equation 44 that is your peaks formula just now I showed you many times it is evident that coronal loss is inversely proportional to the air density factor that is delta that is coronal loss increases with decrease in air density factor uh, your air density decrease your what you call decrease of density of air right. So, coronal loss of a high voltage transmission line passing through as a hilly area right may be higher than that of similar transmission line in planes due to the lower value of delta at high altitude, but because when you are uh, you know at alt higher altitude particularly hill area right your what you call that your uh, I mean dust or dirt whatever it is it is alt hilly area in altitude it will less as compared to the plane areas right. So, that is why that similar transmission line in place due to the lower value of delta at high altitudes. If delta is your low then uh, your uh, what you call that uh, pro pro coronal loss is proportional to inversely proportional to delta. So, that is the coronal loss of a high voltage trans passing through a hilly area may be higher because the your delta your this thing then that of similar transmission line planes due to the lower value of delta at high altitude right. So, if um, uh, that is the thing. So, next is your I mean it is inversely proportional right. If delta is high coronal loss will be low, if delta is nearly 1 uh, right then coronal loss will be your what you call uh, uh, low. Next is effect of conductor radius. Now, you know that uh, conductor radius that potential gradient at the surface of the uh, conductor is high if radius is your what you call small right. So, <coughs> particularly the but anyway at the surface of the conductor it is higher right 
we know that q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 into r. So, that means, if radius is high the surface field intensity is less hence corona loss is less right. For the same current carrying capacity say on AC SR your conductor has larger radius than single copper conductor right. Therefore, transmission line of AC SR conductor have lower cop corona loss than copper conductor lines. For bundle conductor lines effective radius is high hence corona loss is less because if effective radius is high then potential gradient that will be also less. So, hence the corona loss is less it is from your intuition you can uh, come to this conclusion. Now, another thing is that effect of rise of your what you temperature rise of conductor by load current when load is high. So, conductor will carry more current therefore, there will be a temperature rise in the conductor right. That means, the conductor current raises the conductor temperature hence leading to an indirect reduction in corona loss all the right. Uh, that is your although delta is related to your pressure as well as uh, both uh, temperature right for computing that uh, your visual uh, critical uh, voltage right. So, corona loss is larger if the conductor temperature is low right and this is due to the fact that at the low temperature at the low temperature the dew drops collect on the conductor surface during fog and humid weather high conductor current prevents such condensation and reduces corona loss. So, indirect effect is there for the uh, your what you call the loading of the power system because if load is more then your uh, conductor will carry more current. Then another thing is that effects of snow or frost layer but particularly in that you know mountain uh, side that effect of snow or uh, will be there it is very much there particularly in the hilly areas. So, snow or frost layer on transmission line conductor causes very high corona losses and of course, the radio interference right. This layer is found if temperature is 0 degree centigrade and remain for longer duration if temperature are lower I mean if it is 0 degree or below 0 degree that is minus temperature hilly area which is very common right. So, this phenomena you will see that that, that snow or your frost layer will be there on the con conductor overhead conductor. Right. So, corona discharges with conductor surface covered with snow and electric field intensity not exceeding 30 kilo volt per centimeter consists mainly of pulses in negative half cycles and pulseless steady corona at positive half cycles right. So, corona discharges themselves which affect the form of snow layers and uh, often blow up the snow in the neighboring regions of corona that means, uh, suppose, suppose your, uh, your what you call it is a high voltage line and that is conductor is covered by snow and if uh, your what you call that corona, corona d happens then uh, what will happen that uh, due to this corona discharge that uh, snow will melt in any way at the same time on the conductor nearby uh, areas of uh, nearby region of the conductor that snow will be blown up right. So, this is very common phenomenon and if you go to any hilly area particularly an over a transmission line in winter you can see that conductor is covered in you know by snow. This is very common phenomena and particularly this uh, this happens uh, for your what you call for overhead conductor. Next one is corona loss of new and old conductors you know if the if the conductor is a new one I mean suppose you are putting a new transmission line right. So, corona loss is more due to scratches burn CTC for the new conductor, but over the over the time as the line ages corona loss decreases the old conductor is called weathered conductor because it is season conductor suppose it is there for few years. So, it is it is called weather conductor. So, once one engineer asks me something like this suppose you are three phase line this is a question to you three phase line suppose out of these three phases say you are putting uh, in two phases suppose you are replacing two phases the old conductor say 10 12 years old conductor a new conductor and third one is an old one. So, uh, and it is a balance system it is carrying equal power I mean balance system right suppose to carry equal current as well as your voltage also balance no question of unbalancing you take ideal case balance then uh, which conductors will carry more power the new conductor both new conductors or old conductor you assume it is a balance this is a question to you when you listen to this lecture you try to answer this question you send me mail and if you can correct answer 
I will appreciate that. I, I reply within two, three days. I reply whatever mails in the previous course I have received. I think I have answered to all of you. I did not leave anyone. I gave all answers. Right. Next effect of supply voltage. If the supply voltage is high, right, coronal loss will be high. This is very common, right. If supply voltage is high, coronal loss will be high, right. If low for in low voltage transmission line, coronal loss is negligible due to insufficient electric field to maintain self sustained ionization because at low voltage that is electric field, electric field intensity cannot be maintained right that is why coronal loss it happens mostly 220 kV or above, uh, above uh, voltage level. Uh, particularly you know in rainy season if you I mean if you can ex you try to experience this uh, in rainy season if you see that overhead conductor say 220 kV line you will find some kind of chattering noise uh, even in the daytime also that is that is mostly happening due to coronal loss. Right. Although daytime that violet glow or uh, visual glow may not be visible because daytime, but night time it is possible right? and particularly in the dark areas those will be very prominent and this violet glow due to the ozone gas. Right. Then effect of dust and dirt. In the presence of dust and dirt, it requires voltage gradient is less for maintaining sustained discharge. Right. So, disruptive critical voltage is reduced due to dust and dirt hence coronal loss is more right. So, if I mean if effect of dust and dirt actually it increases the coronal loss. It uh, makes uh, your uh, some for percentage of the total power loss of the transmission line when you are calculating transmission line power loss uh, this thing those things are not considered right. So, if consider uh, for load flow studies while doing it you are making only I square R loss but we are not considering coronal loss, but when they design the transmission line they consider all the all these factors right. Then effect of con conductor configuration, generally conductors have two types of configuration you know I one is horizontal another may be triangular right uh, or another may be vertical also three conductors may be horizontal plane right uh, distance between A B B C uh, A B is D B C is D. Uh, then AC will be 2D. So, horizontal plane symmetrical. Similarly, vertical also you can make it. Similarly, vertical way also you can make it. Another thing is the triangular either equilateral or may not be right. So, in that case what will happen the conductor th uh, of three phase overhead transmission line it can either horizontal or vertical configuration right. First come to horizontal or vertical configuration. The electric field intensity at the surface of middle contact conductor is higher then the outer conductors right out I mean uh, whether it is a vertical or horizontal one conductor will be there at the you know middle A B C phase say B is in the middle and A and B is in between A and C right. Therefore, the disruptive critical voltage for middle conductor your what you call uh, disturb for middle conductor will be less than the two other outer conductor hence there will be more coronal loss in middle conductor because the difference is V n minus V 0. So, V n is actually line to neutral voltage and V 0 is disruptive critical voltage. So, for the middle conductor if V 0 is less then V n minus V 0 will be higher. So, naturally uh, your uh, what you call that middle conductor your what you call hence there will be more coronal loss in the middle conductor because uh, your uh, V n minus V 0 will be uh, your what you call high because V 0 will be less that is why that the middle conductor is higher than your what you call the electric field intensity at the surface of middle conductor is higher than the outer conductors. Therefore, the disruptive critical voltage for middle conductor will be less that is V 0 will be less right that means V n minus V 0 square will be higher. Therefore, the middle conductors your uh, coronal loss will be higher than the your what you call uh, your uh, hence there will be more coronal loss in middle conductor than the outer two conductor this is the reason this is the reason. Now, if conductors are placed equilaterally say equilateral triangle the average electric field intensity at each conductor will be the same right because it is equilateral triangle see the ground actually is at always equipotential surface while co computing as, uh, your what you call uh, capacitor thing considering the effect of ground in the capacitance chapter in power system analysis course at that time we have discussed this right. If you have if you want to brush up your memories just I request please go through that uh, your what you call that chapter uh, that capacitance chapter. Therefore, the electric field distribution is affected by the presence of the R right. Coronal loss will be less if conductors are placed your what you call at 
more height, but if you that means the tower height will be more, but if you increase the tower height then uh, your what you call the cost will be more because ta uh, construction of the your uh, tower of the cost will be higher. So, some optimum design is required right. So, these are general phenomena. Next is the effect of corona on line design. Now, transmission line are designed in such a fashion that the corona loss is small enough in fair weather condition that is true. In if you design a transmission line if corona loss is uh, higher in fair weather condition that is not acceptable right. But because corona loss reduces the efficiency of the line because when you are considering uh, or computing the efficiency of the line at that time we consider the losses. So, during fair weather condition that uh, corona loss should be low right. If the disruptive critical voltage of all about 10 percent more than the your operating voltage then it is acceptable even though sub corona loss will take place when foul weather condition. I mean if your disruptive critical voltage 10 percent more than the operating voltage then still it is acceptable right even though some corona loss will take place under foul weather condition. Generally corona loss under foul weather condition will be as many as 10 times higher than the fair weather condition right. So, when normal temperature or uh, your normal weather right there will be no rain, no snowfall nothing is there right at the fair weather condition right in that case corona loss will be low, but uh, foul weather condition it increases actually that is why I am telling you during rainy season another thing you will see corona loss increases right. And another thing is an increase in DEQ and R increase the disruptive critical voltage. Uh, because it uh, depends on the natural log or log base strain that is ratio d e q upon r right. Thus, reduces the corona loss, but increases the cost right. So, because if you try to if you try to increase the radius naturally the di conductor diameter will be more then, then the volume will be more and at the same time your cost will increase, but there are many other issues with the increase of uh, diameter this thing radius of the conductor or diameter of the conductor because when you go for stag and tension and uh, uh, analysis at that time we will see that right. So, these are the some of the your what you call that uh, uh, effect uh, different type of uh, parameters affect the corona we just discussed right. So, this chapter is very interesting and easy. Next uh, we will take uh, your example say this is example 1 right. So, here uh, the look conductors of a three phase transmission line are equilaterally, equilaterally spaced say 6 meter apart right. The radius of each conductor is given 1 centimeter, the air temperature is 30 degree Celsius and pressure is 740 millimeter of mercury right. So, if surface factor is 0.83 and irregularity factor is 0.92 you have to calculate the disruptive critical voltage and visual critical voltage right this is the thing. So, all parameters from equation 43 air density factor delta is 0 0.392 p divided by 273 plus t. So, t is p is given 740 millimeter and t is equal to 30 degree Celsius substitute you will get delta is equal to 0 0.957 right that is the air density factor. Next is now Another thing is that next uh, from equation 40 disruptive critical voltage that is V0 is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 6 upon root t uh, sorry root 2 r delta m0 ln dq upon r volts right. Now, data given m0 is given 0 0.92 delta just we have computed 0 0.957 r is equal to 1 centimeter is equal to 0 0.01 meter. And as equilateral is equilateral spacing 6 meter each <coughs> sorry. So, d e q actually 6 meter. So, v 0 is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 6 by root 2 into r 0 0.01 into delta 0 0.957 into your m 0 0.92 ln 6 upon 0 0.01 volts. If you compute this v 0 will be 119.475 kV it is RMS value because we have taken this RMS value divided by root 2 right. Now, from equation 42 visual critical voltage this is the formula for visual critical voltage V suffix V is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 6 upon root 2 that we have seen earlier it is M V into R into delta in bracket 
वन प्लस जिरो पॉइंट जिरो थ्री जिरो वन अपन रूट ओवर आर डेल्टा एल एन डी क्यू अपन आर भोल्ड राइट सो दिस इज योर भिजुअल नाउ यू हैव टू सब्सटीट्यूट ऑल द डेटा एम भी आर डेल्टा एवरी थिंग इज गिवेन डी क्यू आर एवरी थिंग इज नोन सो इफ यू पुट दैट इफ यू पुट दैट दैट भी भी इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू एन पावर सिक्स अपन रूट टू इंटू पॉइंट एट थ्री इंटू पॉइंट जीरो वन इंटू पॉइंट नाइन फाइव सेवन इन ब्रैकेट वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री जीरो वन रूट ओवर योर आर डेल्टा आर इज पॉइंट जीरो वन एंड डेल्टा इज पॉइंट नाइन फाइव सेवन एल एन सिक्स अपन पॉइंट जीरो वन इफ यू कम्प्यूट दिस वन देन भी भी उल बी वन फोर्टी पॉइंट नाइन फाइव के वी दिस इज द आर एम एस वैल्यू राइट सो भिजुअल क्रिटिकल वोल्टेज एंड डिस्ट्रप्टिव क्रिटिकल वोल्टेज वी गॉट इट नेक्स्ट वन इज ए एग्जाम्पल टू दिस इज एग्जाम्पल टू ए थ्री फेज टू ट्वेंटी के वी फिफ्टी हार्ज टू हंड्रेड किलोमीटर लॉन्ग ट्रांसमिशन लाइन राइट कन्सिस्ट ऑफ थ्री स्टैंडर्ड एलुमिनियम कंडक्टर्स स्पेस ट्राइंगुलरली ट्राइंगुलरली एट फोर पॉइंट एट मीटर रेडियस ऑफ इच कंडक्टर इज वन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर द एयर टेम्परेचर इज ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड प्रेसर इज सेवन फोर्टी मिलीमीटर ऑफ मार्करी राइट इफ द ब्रेकडाउन स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ एयर इज योर ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट वन के वी आर एम एस दिस आर एम एस वैल्यू इज गिवेन पर सेंटीमीटर एंड द सार्फेस फैक्टर इज गिवेन पॉइंट एट फाइव कम्प्यूट डिसरप्टिव क्रिटिकल भोल्टेज अल्सो डिटार्मिन द भिजुअल क्रिटिकल भोल्टेजेस फर लोकल एंड जेनरल करोना इफ द इरेगुलरिटी फैक्टर्स आर पॉइंट सेवन टू एंड पॉइंट एट फर भिजुअल करोना लोकल एंड भिजुअल करोना जेनरल रेस्पेक्टिवली सो दिज आर द थिंग्स गिवेन दैट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट राइट सो ओके विल बी विल बी बैक सोन थैंक यू